Hi guys, welcome back. So today it's a mid autumn festival. So let's keep it a bit more chill, a bit more relaxing. I'll make a short video on the market update and also some of the stocks. And then at the end of the video, I will share the mooncake design that my company made in China as one of our products for the festival, just for the sake of sharing and a little bit advertising. I rarely advertise my company in this channel, but I really, really like this mooncake design. So I thought, hey, why not share it? Okay. Now let's begin with the overall market. All the US index had a slight rebound today after the pretty dramatic fall from yesterday. Nasdaq had a rebound slightly because yesterday it was a very strong dip dropping below the 60 MA, see the green trend line. So that's why it would now act as a resistance instead. So you see the moment it reached this level and it got rejected right away. For now, it is only just a weak rebound. If the next following days, it can continue staying above the closing price of yesterday of around 14720. It's still not as bad. So it has hope to consolidate between the support and resistance between this level, the gap, because it was very big selling volume for the past couple of days. So it's very difficult to stay back above after such sell off. Similar for Russell 2000 strongest resistance before the gap down around 221 to 223. I wanted to see if it can go back to the previous consolidation range from 218 to 223. But right now the rebound is quite lack of strength. So if we zoom out, the strongest buying volume was on this day with the biggest dip. And that day, the highest was at 214. That is why it would act as a strong support. And yesterday it dipped to exactly 214 and got supported. If it can close above 218 today or the next following two days, I would say there's still hope for Russell 2000. HSI also had make a very slight rebound of 0.5% at some point making the new low of the year 23,700 worse than the day before and then close at slight increase. Normally, I would think it has good sign to turn from the 52 week low to closing off slightly up, but except this time the volume is a little bit too small for a slightly dramatic day like this. Because last time when this happened, the volume was quite good. And that's why I pointed out on the Discord that I see good sign after such shaking. But this time the volume is much less compared to last time's shaking. So doesn't give me as much confidence as last time, but it could also be the holiday because you know a lot of the Hong Kong stocks are participated by the mainland institutions now. And because the mainland is on holiday, no one's at work. So that might explain why the lack of volume. But on the other hand, KWEB yesterday did get a good increase of volume and got supported by this gap up from the end of August. If we zoom out to look at the KWEB, we are still very close to this purple trend line. The one we have back tested two times in the past. And right now it's the third time. So I would say closer to this trend line support would be the safer bet around 43. Last time it reached 43 and got rebound. Now, some of you might wonder why Neo is not rebound a little bit from the big fall yesterday probably getting more and more frustrated. I think the share price showing some fatigue because of two reasons. One, because they just did a new share offer two weeks ago, and it usually takes time to digest those new shares. Given the situation of Chinese stocks right now, might need to give it extra time. And the second reason is the whole EV sector that's going through a little bit of correction right now. This is the indicator for the new energy vehicle for China. And you can see that it had a strong run up back from May to July. And from this point, it has been going through mostly consolidation. You can just see this from the leader, which is BYD. It had a breakout in July and end of August. And now ever since it had been going through a correction for more than a month. And same thing with the solar sector. 
this is the indicator for the Chinese solar sector. It had peaked at the end of August and had been back testing. Now at the 60 MA, the trend line that had been passed since May, it's now back testing it. So I said it last week in the Discord, I think that the solar sector and the EV sector have gone through the correction for more than a month. So the opportunities might show again if you missed the train last time. So for NIO, Xiaopeng, JKS, Jinko Solar, I think the opportunities are showing again. But now JKS had a rebound of 5% today. It is getting near the resistance around 46, 47. So when it reaches the resistance, it might have another dip and you can watch out for that. LKCO also has a weak rebound today. The resistance is at 1.3 to 1.25. So I said on the Discord today, if you had got the dip yesterday, you probably can lock in some profit and wait for it to stay above this resistance level before re-entering. Now the biggest star of today should be given to QuantumScape ticker symbol QS. So far, it has run up of 17%. Passing the resistance of the green line, which is the 60 MA, you see the whole time it had been falling with the 60 MA, which was broken back in April. And every time it touched that, it went back down. So today was a important achievement, I would say. It has stayed back above the yellow line. The support resistance line I drew a couple months ago. So I hope it can stay above the support and just spend some time to consolidate above the gap, above the support, gain momentum and make another leg up. It had a good move today because the company announced to be working with the car brand to develop solid state battery together and it is one of the top 10. Obviously, something like similar to LKCL, it cannot be disclosed. So we only know it's top 10. So this morning when I saw the big gap up, my reaction was exactly one word. Finally, been waiting for this. Another one worth mentioning is Luckin Coffee. I've been waiting for the earning of 2020 and it finally came today. So the total revenue had increased of 33% by a third, while the total customer increased by half, 50%. It's not bad, but it's also somewhat expected. I think on the way up, a lot of investors, just like me, myself, had expected them to report a good earning for the year of 2020 because they had announced to be making profit for more than half of the stores since last summer. That's why I suggested a short-term play on Luckin two months ago when it got to support of 12.8. And last week even, I said if it can dip back to the 15 range, it might be another buy-in opportunity. And that's what it did yesterday. The lowest it got to was 14 and rebounded after that with the earning. Now, the action today looks like it's to sell the news. So for short-term investors, I think worth watching out for because the gap up today should give Luckin the support of this, the previous high of 15.5 to 16. And now it looks like it's not holding. We can see more at the closing. That's why I suggested on the Discord to take profit if it breaks this support. Another one running well today is Best, ticker symbol BEST. So yesterday it had a very strong volume of running up despite the whole market scenarios. In the end, it had sold off. Yep, driven by the overall market sell off. But today it had continued the momentum from yesterday. So I take it as a good sign because it was a big run up and big sell off at some point during the day and it would have made it a big bull trap. As you see, the volume yesterday was pretty big. So it would have been a big bull trap, but today's run up it's kind of setting free the ones who formal in yesterday. So that is why I take it as a good sign. I think the chance for it to keep running is higher than dropping. So if you are interested, you can set a stop loss around 1.49 or slightly below. Now, because today is the Mid-Autumn Festival, so I want to share a clip, very, very short clip to show the mooncake of my company. We designed it, we found suppliers, 
we designed it because we had this, I would think, quite creative concept to revive the change of different generations and mooncake for them. So it's quite nostalgic for the older generation and quite trendy for the younger generation. We have had good success with this product, even though it's not our main business, but it did help us attract more clients to give us more contracts for brand strategy and design. So I'm proud to show this video clip for you. Let me know what you think. Now the mooncake has already sold out. So if you want to buy some, remember this for next year, okay? I'm just kidding. Now happy mid-autumn for everybody. Hope you can all relax and enjoy a little moment with your family. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a big, big like and write me a great comment. And I'll see you tomorrow. That's it guys. Hope you can find my videos helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a big like. Thank you.